Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm in Killarney, the Kingdom of Ireland, my most favorite place to go take some photographs. And it's because it's early spring, I said I'd come for the obligatory bluebell shot. Now, as you can see here, I've got a bed of bluebells around me. I've got some nice light as well, shining onto the forest floor. So we're gonna see what type of photographs we can get from this location here today, because I see an abundance of bluebells and maybe I'll get some nice shots, maybe the cliche shots, but it's springtime, might as well take it, take the opportunity and see what photographs I can get in this beautiful area of Ireland. I haven't had to travel far from my first shot now here because I am in an abundance actually of bluebells. And I've come to an area where I've got these two trees um, that are side by side and they're kind of going off in different directions. I've got a bed of blue bluebells as well below me here, a couple of nice ferns, and there's a tiny touch of a bit of the stream that you can see as well flowing down here. Now, um, there is one part of the image that I don't like and it's kind of uh, a tree that's covered in a load of, oh, oh, a lot of spiky branches if you want to call it that but um, I'm going to play around my composition maybe remove actually those from here so maybe move a small bit to my left hand side here and fine-tune this composition now I've got it set up as well in portrait orientation here because I really want to kind of have that uh, linear effect but I might end up actually changing it as well to landscape because like I said I've got a bed of bluebells here which I think will really complement the scene there's some nice dappled light as well now coming into the floor as well so I'll have pockets of light as well I do also think in those images but yeah for my first shot here like I say I'll just fine tune it now and I'll give you a look at it in a moment and we'll move on then and we'll find another composition come up along the bank of this river or stream here now and there's a mind there's a, mind you there's not a lot of uh, bluebells around here but I do think that there's a nice shot to be had now it's a bit difficult as well to expose because the sun is directly above me here so I'm kind of shooting into the sun and also that tree with those spiky branches is what I'm going to call them now is going to be in the frame there's no way really for me to avoid that because if I go further on up here number one I'll be trampling on uh, bluebells and number two there's not much of a focal subject as well because it's all brambles that are at the top of the stream here. So um, I'm going to take a landscape orientation shot, probably going to go around about maybe f11 uh, and then play around my exposure time. I've got my 0.9 ND grad as well, just built to control the highlights that are there. And there's a big open vastness of nothing really on the top of the frame as well. So I need to be able to control that light. You can even see that here on your frame, how bright it is uh, actually up here. So yeah, I'll take this second image anyway now and yeah, we'll continue on then and we'll see what else we can find in this beautiful part of Canary National Park. The next spot now that I've come to, as you can see here, there's a bit of an avenue of bluebells and surrounded by trees uh, on either side. I've gone for a portrait orientation. I'm at f11, one sixth of a second, and my ISO is still at 100. And I'm actually now taking a sequence of shots here just to make sure that I'm fully in focus because I want to be able to get the bluebells that are in the foreground and then leading the whole way up here to this fallen tree, which will be on the top third of the frame when it's in portrait. But yeah, again, another beautiful shot in this stunning area here. I'll move on now and see what else I can find. Look at this stunning part of this woodland here. It's both sides actually bluebells and there's a lovely pathway as well going through it, which is actually the path that I'm going to walk through. It kind of stopped me actually in my tracks. Now, taking the shot here, I actually don't think I'm high enough. 
and there's no really way for me to be able to get any elevation uh, from here because I want to get higher to be able to see that pathway uh, coming through this. Now what I might end up doing actually is going to the opposite end and shooting back this way albeit into the sun but I probably put my f at f16 when I get to that point anyway to get a bit of a sun star uh, within the image and then the foreground being lit up nicely by the sun but back to this one right now so I'm at f8 I'm at 1 15th of a second and I'm at ISO 100 and there's a tree here on the left hand side I don't know if you can see it or not in your frame but there's a tree here so I've purposely moved to take that out of the frame and then this pathway is leading me up on the left hand third of the image with the bluebells as well on the right hand side of the image as well so I think this would be a nice shot this is a beautiful pathway so probably going to get a number of shots actually from here and I'm going to take the camera off the tripod as well and go handheld and try and get down close to some of these beautiful flowers obviously being careful not to trample on any of them now take a look at this beautiful scene here I have a huge amount actually going on in this but it's nicely layered and there's a nice bit of depth as well to the image so on the foreground area here I've got the bluebells and they're being nicely lit up as well by the sun then I've got a couple of trees that are here and there's actually an archway of uh, branches that are curving over the top of the frame and that's sealing the top of the frame nicely and then to go on into that you actually go down into different layers with different trees and then in the distance as well you've got some uh, I think the rhododendron bushes actually that are on the bank of the water now settings wise for this not much different to before actually I'm at uh, f8 1 18th of a second and I've taken two photographs I've one to focus into the foreground just to get those sharp and then I've one in the mid-range as well mid-range as well to be able to get the center and the back of the image as well also sharp I'll probably uh, merge the two of those in uh, Photoshop to create a front to back sharp image but what a beautiful area actually here and complemented obviously by the you know quintessential really um, uh, bluebells that are now in bloom at this time of the year Look at the beauty all around me actually here. I've got 360 of uh, bluebells and I wouldn't be a fan of taking photographs like this but you know what there is a reason why they do make nice shots because they're a nice carpet on the ground and they're not here for that long so I'm glad that I'm here to take these photographs. Now where I'm at at the moment is on that pathway and there's no position where I can actually see the pathway going back down here behind me and I've also got a view of the pathway going this way. Two completely different photographs along the same path but lots of bluebells as well to be able to take the photograph along the way. Um, I'm probably going to um, aim a bit lower and shoot back up actually when I get here because the sun is quite high in the sky so I'm not able to get it within the frame even at my widest setting. So if I go down low and shoot up I should be able to get that as well. Uh, so if I'm probably going to look for a nice composition also low down. I'm probably also going to go uh, handheld for now and snipe out a couple of shots of this beautiful area here uh, at a relatively fast shutter speed as well but yeah 360 views of these beautiful bluebells and I do think I'm getting some nice shots here today This was quite handy actually as I came up this pathway here there was a gap that somebody has either mowed or walked on already so I said okay I'm not doing any damage here so I'll step in because there's this fallen tree and it's in the, nestled in the middle of all of these bluebells as well and then I've got a lot of layering in the different trees as well that are going on in the distance I've taken a couple of photographs actually here one I've gone with uh, f4 to get a nice bit of bokeh in the background with focusing on the tree trunk and then I've also gone for f10 to be able to have a sharp image as well the whole way through now the light is shining right down on top of me as well here so I'm having to go for a relatively fast exposure kind of underexposing the shot not to lose any of the highlights but I should be able to bring those shadows back up again in post 
but that beautiful scene I think here um, I might just play around now with the composition and uh, try and fine tune it because I don't think I'm ideally situated here because this branch is kind of leading me off to the right hand side of the image but yeah I think this is actually going to be a lovely shot if I can find the right composure composition I think I've managed now to find a spot that I can get more of that tree actually in and it's been lit nicely as well by the sun. It's right in the middle of a load of bluebells so I think it actually is a nice frame. Uh, settings now at the moment here are f13 at 1 13th of a second and what I'm doing here is I'm focusing one third into the scene so that I can get everything uh, sharp within the image. But I do think yeah even on this small area and I'm actually now ended up right next to the road so you don't really have to go far. <laughs> To find areas like this uh, in Killarney National Park and yeah I think it's been a very nice um, jaunt around this area. I'm going to finish up this episode now. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on the obligatory Bluebell photo shoot in 2022. If it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment and until the next time, Schlange Fall.